Hey, hey, Taurus, welcome to your October reading. I'm excited to see literally what's in the cards for you. But first we need to talk about what's in the stars for you. So there's a solar eclipse happening in the sign of Libra on October 2nd. And at whatever point you're listening to this reading in the month, it still applies because this energy is gonna reverberate through your chart and through your life for the next six months. So uh, for Taurian people, Libra rules the sixth house, the house of daily routine, organization, and your health, your literal physical body. So this eclipse, which uh, is a solar eclipse, which means it's a new moon running right alongside the sun, and this eclipse happens to also be connected to the south node in Libra, the south node being where we've been before, what we've mastered, ground we've already covered, and that we long to move on from. So there is kind of like a revelation around how I handle my health and my body and my day-to-day -day life. What are my routines, rituals, habits, and how do they serve me or take away from what it is that I'm trying to do. This is a perfect time for release and recalibrate. That's that's the fucking headline for this solar eclipse um, in Libra right alongside that south node. What do I need to uh, release so that I can recalibrate and get that refreshed new start, okay? New moon always equals a clean slate, the opportunity for that. Now, what do I need to get rid of? What do I need to declutter so I can make room for the new thing that I want to start growing in my life? Or the habit that gets in the way of my physical health and keeps me from being able to cultivate this other part of me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's get into some cards. We're going to pull a card to see you, your persona, what aspects of yourself are stepping forward this month and that spirit wants to make you most aware of for your highest good. We're also going to look at the themes that are showing up for you, what you can expect to deal with this month. And as always, we want to get Spirit's guidance for you on how to make the most of it. Spirit, we want to help Taurus, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising and Dominant People. We want to help them see the truth of what is showing up in October and approach it in the best way possible, Spirit. So please show us what is showing up for Taurus people. What kind of themes are showing up for Taurus people? And what do you want them to know about it for their highest good, Spirit? We wanna look at the past as it pertains to the present, the unfolding future. Anything that Taurus people need to know in the month of October for their highest good spirit, to help them step into joy, fulfillment, authenticity, ease, love, everything that they want, spirit, everything that is good for them. Six, seven, perfect. Taurus, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Taurus rising, Taurus dominant people. In the month of October, spirit, what do my Taurus people need to know for their highest good? Their highest good. Beautiful. Hey, listen, you can't please everybody. And that is a good thing. You can still please a fuckload of people without pleasing everybody. That's something the spirit is saying. Okay, so Taurus, really lovely reading it looks like a pretty balanced month especially for having a solar eclipse happening um i don't see you getting too thrown by that i see you actually being able to take some wonderful advantage of it so you come through beautifully in your element the queen of pentacles spirit is talking about you as like a gardener a cultivator um it's also wonderful to see the queen of pentacles when we're dealing with sixth house themes right earthly themes. Sixth house is the Virgo house, right? So it's the Virgo house because Virgo rules routines, rituals, organization, the physical body, but yours has the flavor of Libra because Libra rules your sixth house, if that makes sense. So how can you beautify your daily life? How can you beautify your daily routine? How can you beautify the way that you care for your body? You know what I'm saying? 
You know, can you light a candle before the shower? You're a Taurus. I don't need to explain these things to you. You know exactly how to bring more sensuality into anything that you are trying to do more of. So Spirit is talking about if you are trying to get a creative project or a work thing or whatever off the ground, you want to make sure that you're bringing beauty, sensuality, um, an aesthetic sense to your office space or whatever, your environment. You know what I'm talking about? You might also want to be um, tending to your own personal appearance a little bit more. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So beautifully, sitting in the past, Ten of Cups, so much love, so many um, supporters, community surrounding you, family, friends, loved ones. Um, and I see like a big move in your recent past. So for some of you, it's like we changed jobs or we changed locations or we got married or et cetera. And it's like you have um, a crowd of people both on this side and on the other side that surround you, that support you, that congratulate you. And it feels like you're finding your way through this, this new this new high point in your life. Five of Wands is sitting in the present. And as Spirit said, you can't please everybody and not everybody is going to understand you. And that's why it's really important that you know, Ten of Cups, who your people are. Because some people are gonna hate or just dismiss or not understand how you talk or what you do or what you're making, what you're cultivating, what you are deciding to, the decisions you're making for yourself, etc. Can't please everybody, but the people that love you will be pleased because they know that you're pleasing yourself. Um, so five of wands, I would say, notice what could be distracting you. What, what could be just maybe a little bit of um, too many cooks in the kitchen, um, like maybe I'm taking in too many opinions. Maybe I'm spending too much time on social media. That can be like another uh, way that this energy plays out. Am I getting caught up in comment wars? Am I getting caught up in um, conversations that aren't really serving anybody? Literally, I'm getting drained. They're getting drained. Nobody's moving. They're moving like the needle. You know what I mean? I can just disengage from that. I can just go ahead and save that energy for myself. So it feels like there will be uh, opportunities to get into petty fights, arguments, dick measuring contests, I say, skip it. Yeah, I say skip it. What you have, um, definitely skip it. <laughs> definitely skip it. I'm looking at these cards and it's like, yeah, there's so much opportunity to grow your money, grow your clout, grow your reach. I'm hearing all of these things, grow your audience. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm going to say, keep your eyes on your own paper. I'm going to say um, the only reason to engage with anybody in any form of like um, debate or critique is if you're really going to take that and use it to your best advantage. Do you know what I'm saying? Ace of Swords is sitting in the future. Breakthrough. Honest conversation. Words that change the climate in the room. Being able to come to the point. Right? To get to the point and to cut through the bullshit and to make yourself really clear. Um, so if conversations, debates, um, meetings, that's what I'm also seeing with this five of wands is like a bunch of people sitting around a table debating something or have bandying ideas back and forth. If that helps you get to the truth, great. If it's not helping you to get to any kind of truth, skip it. The guidance for you, queen of pentacles is Eight of Pentacles, work on your thing, work on your money, work on your skill. They, we're seeing a craftsperson who is sitting at the table, chiseling away, you know, planning their work and working their plan. And that's what Spirit is saying. So it feels like, again, distractions are available, but you are, Queen of Pentacles, best suited to keeping an eye on, like, when I grow this, and your pentacle might be, again, your skill, your money, your uh, YouTube channel, whatever, right? It's different things for different people. But keep an eye on your pentacles and keep growing your skills, your pentacles, your um, sureness within yourself of who you are and what you're capable of. I feel like it's kind of like putting yourself off, like um, off center if you start comparing and contrasting and, and going back and forth with other people. 
unless again it is actually helping you refine your point refine your edge you know like um if it's helping you get clearer great if not go go away go back to your table and work on your thing okay stop pitching it out in front of everybody else and letting them critique it unless it's actually helping you in the energy around and available to you strength and particularly spirit is using the word power power taurus how do you empower yourself and how might you sometimes disempower yourself these are the things you want to be thinking about this month um there's a very huge opportunity like huge i mean eight of pentacles the lovers six of wands and then of course strength you are formidable this month so don't waste your energy on small little battles save your energy for you and your big dream your big vocation your big decisions the things that you want to make real progress on is where you want to give all of your your time your energy your focus it will grow if you work on it that's what i'm hearing so if you're wondering yes if you work on it it will grow if you're trying to pitch it while you're working on it i don't think that's going to help it grow that's just what i'm hearing so maybe it's like not dropping hints or ideas about it all over social media or all over wherever but actually like holding it cultivating it queen of pentacles is not the king of pentacles where it's like i need the whole world to know about this queen of pentacles is like i'm going to be really satisfied when my garden is thriving and i'm able to you know feed metaphorically or literally all of the the people the community that i care about so whether i'm feeding them with my message or with actual literal food or with whatever my skills my talents etc the more you make yourself available for yourself and the people that really see you and love you and here's how we know if they really see you they only care if you are pleased with yourself not am i pleased by what you're creating but am i loving that i see you pleased with what you're doing those are the people that you want to maybe like show this to okay Six of Wands, your hopes and your fears is that you will be seen. You will be seen for everything that you bring to the table. Yes, it is, it is a natural something that we desire. And the flip side is yes, like, and it is terrifying. It's terrifying to let people see what we have because then we're letting them into the process. Um, and I think that that might be a little bit what this Five of Wands is pointing out is like, people will comment and maybe you don't need to weigh in. Maybe you are a little above that. Okay, and you let people say their little things, write their passive aggressive, this and that, whatever, and you kind of just be like, wow, I don't even hear it or see it because I'm so far above that. That's something that I'm hearing, okay? Um, now, I'm not talking about staying on a high horse. I'm talking about like, oh, you know what? That conversation and addressing that piece of, of um, passive aggressive or veiled vitriol that was just thrown at me, that's beneath me. I don't need to do that. I need to stay focused on who it is I am, what it is I'm creating. So for example, if you're putting out a YouTube video, right? And somebody puts a comment down there and says, uh, I think you look like the bottom of a dirty foot. That's none of my business. Like you see what you see. I'm gonna stay focused on what it is that I'm presenting. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It happens, people five of wands, it happens. In the key position, the lovers, it especially happens when you are on the verge of a big, passionate breakthrough and living a life that is more like what you would design if you could. Following a calling is something that I'm hearing. Um, don't sink to their level. Stay high. Stay high vibe. Stay, and the, the way to stay quote unquote high vibe is to stay focused on your why. And that is the same as like your values. So if I value being courageous and honest, then I don't see a lot of courageous, honest people really worrying about what people are saying about the courageous, honest thing that they're doing. I see them doing their honest, courageous thing. And, and doors will open for you as you do that. That's what I'm hearing with the lovers in the key position. The key is to choose who you want to be and be that every single day and not get lulled into the unconsciousness of like starting to do things by default. Oh, this person pissed me off. I'm going to snap back at them. Like, of course, like a part of me wants to snap back, but like the part of me that remains awake and does not fall asleep on the job of being myself will be like, oh, remember, we're supposed to empower ourselves and actually empower other people.
I see that opening a lot of doors for you. I see people seeing you as a good leader, Taurus. That's something that I'm hearing. And a good leader in this kind of like subtle, strong hand kind of way. Hmm. Curious. What do you think, Taurus? What's showing up for you? Do you have something big that you are working on or that you're trying to open up to this month? It looks like it's available. Don't sink to anybody's level and don't get distracted. Stick with your purpose, stick with your truth, and stick with the people who know and support that purpose and that truth. I'm excited for you. Big things. More recognition. A more honest version of yourself walking through the world, which is good medicine for all of us. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Taurus. If you ever want a personal reading, the ways to do that are in the box below. Thanks for being here, and if I don't see you in your mid-October reading, then I hope I will see you in November. Till then, bye Taurus. <laughs>